Yo, 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 you already know what it is. It's your boy, Ronald West. I'm here with Gisela Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, today we're talking a little bit about um, cancel culture and some of the words and the proper etiquette and all these things that you need to do nowadays <laughs> so you won't offend anybody. Um, you must walk on eggshells when you have a social media platform. You'll get banned, you'll get kicked off, you'll get canceled, you'll get shadow banned, like I think they did to me on Instagram, but <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about that. What did that. you say? I don't know what I said. I may have just, I think I just used the F word. I, I'm thinking it's the F word. That's so bad. Right. I hear people say the F word. I see, I see viral videos with the F word in it. And every time I see the F word, I'm like, ah, oh, that video should be viral. I'm offended. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into these words. Um, so these words, if you use these words, they may sound regular, but the deal is that they're sexist, racist, and insensitive terms. So you shouldn't use these, these, these terms. So we're going to go with the first term is, um, never use the term mankind. <laughs> <laughs> so what would we refer mankind to now there's no such thing as mankind <laughs> so what are we We're humankind um, you know it's crazy i just i read a book recently and it and it that was the one of the terms that they use they use humankind as we were preparing for the show i was like oh snap there goes an example they use humankind they didn't say instead, mankind yeah so is that like a new book is it recent I don't know how new that book is. Maybe that is like politically correct. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I don't know how new that book is, but just be careful when you're um, using the term mankind. Would you use mankind again now that you know that you're not supposed to use it? I mean, am I really not supposed to use it? I don't know because when I think of mankind, I think of human beings. Like we are mankind. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's 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 gender specific, like. There's more than just men, I guess they're saying. I'm just playing devil's advocate. I get what you're saying, but they're saying I like, don't know. When I think of mankind, like I know we have a man, we have a woman. But mankind, I think it refers to in general, like men and women. Doesn't it? That's what I thought, but I guess not. It's supposed to be maybe by kind. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? I mean, what else? Uh, humankind. Um, what else? World kind. I want to be cool to all humankind. I guess instead of saying all mankind, even though you got woman, man, like it just, I don't know. Just don't use mankind. You, know, you, you could be in an interview, you be interviewing with somebody and you say mankind. They go, oh. <laughs> I mean, but. I don't know. Aren't you used to saying that word? Yes. Like, how do you get used to now saying humankind? I mean, because it just comes naturally to say mankind to me. I'm not really like preaching like that. So I'm not right. using mankind. It's not like we anyway. use yeah, it yeah. on the regular. Yeah. Like, that's not a word that's yeah. constantly being used. Now, if you're a preacher or something, you got to worry now. Like, if you're somebody that's like really talking in front of people and you're trying to like promote humankind you got to be sure you say humankind there's no mankind can't I be mean, man specific i mean as a woman i'm not offended by it oh what about i mean i don't even want to go in order now because since you want mankind man whole <laughs> <laughs> nothing is supposed to go in the manhole it's like no 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 <laughs> no 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 like if you had a city job and your boss said Hey, Billy, I need you to go fill in that manhole. And someone heard and they could be offended. Like, OK, so now you're mad that the hole is for. I don't know. Women, I mean, that's what it's called. Can women fix the hole, too? Yeah, nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. So why I got to be called a manhole? Because that's just what the name was. Look. Because once upon a time, women weren't inside the manhole. But, now, but again, the word man, it's kind of like referring to, again, men and women as a species. But according to most people now, no, it's not like this is a real thing. A woman can go in the manhole, <laughs> you know what I said? <laughs> and now they're offended. Like, yo, why I got to go fix the manhole? 
I told you I got a solution for both of these words. I told you what I call it. The buy hole. <laughs> <laughs> the buy hole. Go fix that buy hole. Like Ronald, go fix that buy hole. Can't call it a manhole. I mean, are we gonna my thing with these words is are we gonna go through the whole dictionary fixing words? I think so. I think so. I got another one now. That's not even on the list. What about manscape? Why it gotta be manscape? <laughs> Women gotta shave down there too. True. Right, that, that can broaden manscape. Byscape. I mean, both does races, the word take away the equality though? No, because a woman can still go in the manhole. That is true. Well, I, I know women that go in a manhole. <laughs> <laughs> city workers. <laughs> city workers. Like, city workers. You right. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I wonder, are they the ones complaining? Are these the people that are complaining, like, as a woman? Probably. Yeah. Because I can imagine the women that are actually going in the manhole. They'd probably be a little manly, no? <laughs> mm, yeah, that, that's a good one. So that's... then what's the problem? So you trying to be manly, you want to go in the manhole, right. yes! but you wanted to you want to call it I forgot what they say that another alternative name is for it. For the manhole? Yeah, for the manhole. Um I forgot what it was, but that's what they want you to call it now. It's uh, called maintenance hole. A maintenance hole. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Shelly, I need you to fix the maintenance hole. <laughs> I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, the maintenance hole's maintenance not bad. Maintenance hole's yeah. not bad. Because a manhole is literally for like man going the hole. Like, right. That's what they, those are the ones that's going to go in the hole. So now everybody's going in the hole. So maintenance hole. There you go. Listen, I don't want to go in the hole. Yeah. As <laughs> long as it's not an urban hole. A <laughs> <laughs> not a urban manhole. See? <laughs> what you can't say now, you can't use the word urban because it, it's too like it signifies like poor African-American. And I, that actually makes sense to me. I mean, I guess when I think of the word urban, yeah. I would think of like hip hop culture. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a good one. Urban is like, it, it's specifically African-American though. And when I looked up the word too, I like the way they use the word to my point that I'm gonna try to get into. It's a different word that's not on this list. But they use African American when they say it's not it's not right because it signifies like usually poor African American neighborhoods, right? You know, and they kept using the term like it's not right because you're offending African American. And I like the way they never used the term black. I wonder why they use why they didn't use the term black. That's a curveball. I don't even, but that's not on the list either. <laughs> black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you do say, you think that word should be on the list? <laughs> ah, you know what? We're gonna revisit that. We're going to look at a lot of the other words and we're going to revisit that word black. But because I got something, to, you know, I want to see if I can draw some like connections. So, right. yeah. What do you think about urban? Urban should it be to be out. No, I like that word. You like. would like that word. <laughs> <laughs> That's what <it's> just... <laughs> the urban... I think the word urban is cool. So if someone's urban, that just means that they're they... cool. <laughs> they're cool, but with uh, African-American style. Right. So that would be urban. So urban is cool with the African-American style. Yeah. What's so you wrong take with that? poor out of it and take poverty out of it because it seems like that's all mixed in urban poverty, African-American. I guess because urban, I guess, originally was basically to describe the city life. Mm -hmm. And in most cities, obviously, you're going to find a poor community. Right. And I guess all the style and the culture that came out of it. Next thing you know, urban was used to describe black people. Yeah. And or should I say African -American. African American? And then musical awards too. They changed one of the musical awards. It used to be called the urban something. Now they take about the word urban and it's called it's called something that takes away from urban completely. I don't even think it's even a black <laughs> award anymore. I forgot I don't even oh, I can't probably say that, but you could say black, but they use the term African American, but yeah, they changed everything. So what urban. do you think about it, though? Does that word bother you, being that you're African-American? That's like not. 
Uh, <laughs> I am psyched out. <laughs> um, does it bother me? Nothing really bothers me too much, man. Nothing really bothers me too much. So, and it's, that's not fair. And I, you know, I can't speak up for the people that's bothered by all of this stuff. You know, only word that bothers me, I told you, is black. Black <laughs> to me, because when you put all of these other, well, we'll talk about that later. I said I don't, I don't want to get into that right, right, right now. Right. But urban doesn't affect me. Real, it doesn't really affect me. But when I think of urban, I actually didn't think that way. I just thought urban was more like the city. Wow. Yeah, I don't think of urban that way. Now that you say that, I kind of think of urban like uh, the opposite of suburban. Sub the suburbs. Yeah, it's urban. Like you know what I mean. White people think they slick. They probably made this thing up. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, I, I consider really, some white people urban. Right. I wonder what they consider themselves urban. I gotta get a white person on the show. True. Like, do you ever use the word urban? To describe yourself. Yeah. I mean, because we are talking to each other. And we are in the urban community. I mean, community. but what African-American people use the word urban to describe themselves? I think it's probably white people describing African-Americans with that word. That's a good one, right? I've never heard an African American say, "Yeah, I'm urban." You know, it's crazy. If I heard one of my, if I ever heard one of my people use the word "urban," that's kind of like a big word. Like, damn, bro, <laughs> it's urban. Like, Ooh, <laughs> bougie. Ooh, you urban, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. I've never heard it being used in that way. Damn, you got a good but point. But when you think about it, like in those ways like music and hip-hop culture yeah. that's that's the only way damn yo but when i think about like let's say the hood people i don't think of using the word urban to is describe the hood? them is the hood like um urban <laughs> that's urban <laughs> as hell right <laughs> damn oh. yeah they yeah, they don't have white hoods do they they have to have white hoods right yeah. Do they call it the hood? They probably call it. Comment below if, if, if you watch the show and you're white. Help me out with this. Do you, <laughs> is, are there white hoods or what do you call <laughs> an urban community in a in a white community? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't even know how to word this. But yeah, that I'm 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 curious in that one. Yeah, urban urban's a good one. You're right. I don't think ethnic people use urban. No. Ah. <sighs> okay. What about getting down to the nitty gritty? <laughs> I think it's just ridiculous. Like can't use nitty gritty. So we can't get down to the nitty gritty no more. No, because that's where they put the slaves in the bottom of the boat. I guess they considered that the nitty gritty. So I'm guessing that obviously there are still people that <laughs> are offended. went through slavery yeah. that are like, hey, they put us down in there. I don't think you should use that as which nitty gritty is what getting down to, like to the a, facts. Who got offended by that one though? But could they, you the know what? slaves. When I thought about it, right? No, no, when I thought about it and I looked it up and they said um, what the nitty gritty was and I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, now, me neither. Now, <laughs> I use the term nitty gritty. It's like, I guess I'm African American. It's almost like the other the other word, the other N word. So I can I can use it, right? <laughs> so if you're African American, I can say I get down in nitty gritty. But now when I thought about it, I did the research. I'm like, okay, what if a white person who know better use the word nitty gritty? It's like, yo, you know what nitty gritty is? I don't think too many people know what nitty gritty is. But what if they did? What if your boss said, oh, hey, get it down in the nitty gritty, huh? And, he, and he's and he's hip to it. Um, and that's just his get off. I feel like those are kind of like two different things, I guess. No, like the nitty gritty, the bottom of the boat. And then what does, like when you say, let's get down to the nitty gritty, what do you mean by that? If I have a, hypothetically, if I was a non-black employee and I was a boss and I had a African-American employee and I wanted to be spiteful, I'd be like, Hey, uh, okay, guess I guess we'll be Giselle. I can't use your name. Hey, Monique, that's ready. Let's get you ready to get down to the nitty gritty. So, what does that mean, though, to get down to the nitty gritty? I mean, get down and dirty. That's work. But I know good and damn well that it, it, it's a term that was used back in the slavery days. So, in that in that case, I'm wrong, right? 
You can't get down to nitty gritty. <clears throat> well, I mean, well, look, for us is good because we can say it. Because like I said, it's almost like this, this is news to me. Yeah, but certain people can't say nitty gritty. It's got to be one of those words. Because if you offended, if you offended by the other N word, and you one of those people, you got to be offended by nitty gritty too. It has to make sense. It has to. It, you got to cry about this one too. You got to complain about this one. You got to be offended by this one too. I guess. <laughs> also, got to be. <clears throat> you also, you also have to be offended by um, the next one. <laughs> Which is it's, it's all this is all for black people. I just thought about this. All it's of these all words, sexist it's crazy. and racist. Yeah, master bedroom. <clears throat> I mean, I'm guessing these terms came from those eras, right? Like, yeah. But who's reminding us of it? Like, who's saying like, "Yo, attention, black people, stop using I these words." I think it's white people. Oh, that that that's the funny thing with me. I feel like. Black people aren't really concerned. Were you concerned with the nitty gritty? I'm concerned now. I don't like now, the right? Yeah. Because yeah. now they're, they're reminding me. I need they're to putting it out there. Like, mm, you know what? Black people start complaining about nitty gritty. Do you think it's them, or do you think it's those like extremists, like who know so much about like history? You know, you have those people who just know so much about history. It and it's could like, be. They make you feel like, damn, where was I in history class? But I mean, where were they? Like in history class, right? <laughs> yeah. Where were they? How many years ago when people were using nitty gritty? That word's been used for a while now, right? Yeah, we're just now figuring this out. And this is news to me. Yeah. So I've been getting down in the nitty gritty yeah. all these years and right. feeling no type of way about it. But now people are going to look. Like, yo, see, look, they go to Zella. They go to Zella. Not only, not only is she using that other N word, <laughs> she also right. uses nitty gritty. See? Right. Mm -hmm. And I bet you you'd be one of the people to use the word cakewalk, too. Cakewalk. See, that's not something that I really use. Do you use that? I'm, I'm, well, I see, once again, I can use it. This is a slavery term. I can use it. It's just that white people can't use it. That's all these things. So I think a black person made this. Think about it. Now we can think about it, right? You got cakewalk, slavery, nitty gritty, slavery, master bedroom, slavery. I've just never heard black people complain about these words. So that's why it's like, is it black people complaining about this? I've not, I mean, these words been used for so long and all of a sudden it's like, cakewalk what i mean i don't use that word now, now that you say it i i thought i used that word that, that's a cakewalk that supposed to mean it's easy right right it's a cakewalk so that's what throws me off too it's like the meanings of these words and how they're being used currently opposed to how they were used because mm. cakewalk is what it was supposedly a dance that slaves were it's, it was like a dance contest. Like a crip walk. And they <laughs> <laughs> And then they won like a cake. I guess the best dancer won a beautiful cake. Cupcake, yeah. <laughs> best dancer got a Twinkie. She's like, nah, this <laughs> so it's like, uh, how does that compare to something that's super easy? Was the dance easy? Like, I don't get that. I don't know. That, that's just weird. Like I said, man, you see, it's not us. It's white people coming up with this stuff. Yeah. That's what I think. But it's us getting upset by the, by the, by the simplicity of it, though. It's like, come Don't on. Don't say us. It's not me. I'm oh, not getting so obsessed. Not, so you can't use the words. <laughs> you can't use the words. You don't. Uh -uh. I don't use those words. I may use master bedroom, though. Oh, uh, see, you can't do that. I've used that a lot. So a master week. bedroom now, what is it? A master bedroom is like the biggest bedroom in, in an apartment. So what do you or call it now? You call it, uh, I don't know. What the do you biggest call bedroom it? in the, the apartment? The biggest bedroom, yeah. right? Like, it goes the biggest bedroom in the apartment with all the <laughs> The most luxurious bedroom in the apartment yes. is this one. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So moving right along. Mankind, master bedroom, cakewalk, nitty gritty, slave, slave, slave. Um, Everything slaves because the master bedroom, obviously, is right. because of the master. An illegal immigrant. 
I think that's such a stretch because they're illegal immigrants, right? No, they're non documented. I guess. I, I guess. The word immigrant does sound messed up to me. It, it, just, it just comes I off mean, the what, tongue. I mean, what wrong. is an immigrant? Someone who. Who migrated. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say, not from here, migrated. Right. So what's wrong with it? It sound weird, man. America makes shit sound messed up. <laughs> it's, that's what They're it saying, is. They're saying it's my aunt. She's an immigrant. It's like, why she There's gotta be an There's nothing wrong with that. It just sound wrong. I'm an immigrant. I don't find illegal, anything wrong with that. Illegal immigrant? I'm not an illegal immigrant. No, this is an immigrant for me to sound. It's like black, all of it. It's just, if that's what you use to describe somebody, it's like, ah, it's just, it's touchy. Illegal immigrant. Undocumented immigrant. Everything away, anything, anything just you Just the say, word immigrant, you it think is, it's bad. I think that's just, it's how people take it. And that's what we're talking about now is that people are being offended by this. So take away the offended part and the words aren't so bad. Yeah, I guess. The They're end. only bad when people get offended. I wouldn't get offended if somebody called me an, an immigrant. A what? <laughs> If somebody called you a what? An immigrant, sorry. Oh, that was you, like a tongue twister. Like. I thought you said somebody called you Edward and an immigrant. <laughs> I'm like, damn, they called you both. Yeah. No. But I would never describe you as an immigrant because, you know, it just be one of those things that that's Dizella. <laughs> I know your name, so it's just like no point I've never used else. the word immigrant to describe anyone neither because that's what it's I'm just not important. It don't even sound right. Like it just, I don't know. You know what? You know why it don't sound right? America made it not sound right. Because, because the they we added yeah. the word illegal in front of it. And then, but do you and then think all of the stuff, like I don't even watch the news, but all of the stuff about immigrants, it's just it like- It always sounds bad, right? It sounds bad and it's a negative connotation when it comes to immigrants. So it's just like, I ain't, even if I know you say you were, you told me you were an immigrant, I ain't gonna be like, yeah, that's my friend is Elliot. You know, she's, she's an, an immigrant. immigrant. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, right? It, it, just, it, just, it just rolls off the tongue wrong. Like I said, for me, and I'm not offended by it, I just don't use those terms. You know what I mean? Right. It's just like, damn. Like if somebody say, that's my boy Ronald, and they're a bunch of, and they, and they a bunch of, they're in front of a bunch of multicultural people, and they're like, yeah, that's my boy Ronald. It's my black friend. It's like, <laughs> damn, bro, why, why, why you gotta be, why I gotta be all that? Why can't I just be Ronald? But why is that? Why do people make race such a big thing? Because some people are super proud of their race. Yes! And I'm just like, why is that something to be super proud of? Like, it, it like, like, is it an accomplishment to be? It ain't like you did anything special. Yeah. <laughs> like as a race of people, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I mean, uh, you gotta, you gotta find somebody that's like, See, I think we're the wrong people to talk about it because we're not really like deeply connected. Like, ah, you know what I mean? To like, our race. Damn, that sounds crazy. But um, I'm connected somewhat. You know, I just like to just learn about a little bit of everything. But you got to find somebody to even connect because you have those people like that are like five percenters and like that, you know, like that's really <laughs> into like information that we don't know. Have us feeling like, dang, bro, I should be worried about this. You know, but I'm not one of those guys. Do we Great. Words? Good for you. Um, she said, I'm an immigrant. Yeah, we, like, did, we did all of them. No. Oh, spaz. Spaz. I be spazzing all the time. Uh, you can't say that. What should I say? You be... I don't know. You gotta say, you be wilding out. I guess I could say. I, I mean, I I use both. <laughs> I use both because some people really be like spaz. I mean, but spaz. <laughs> when I use the word spaz, it's kind of like I went off at the mouth. Wilding could be anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Man, you just acted crazy. There's some crazy shit. Yeah, but well, you know. But now that you know, you can't spaz. You, you, I mean, you can't use spaz out. You know what I mean? No, I don't know. Hey. <laughs> so you're going to be one of them people that still use it, even though you know that now this is like a new a new rule? No, I think that, um, again, it's the people's problem who get offended. 
It's not my fault that if I say spaz, you get mad. No, I agree with you. I agree. So what is it? What does it mean to be offended? Like, because now everybody could be offended by anything. It seems I'm offended by people's bad energy. Like, I'm offended. <laughs> That just offended me. <laughs> I don't like the way you feel. Like, you know what I mean? I'm offended. But like, yeah. Yeah, I guess everybody being offended is like... It's a thing now? It's a huge thing. <laughs> I think, yeah. We've overdone it. Big time. Like, um, I'm trying to think of what offends me. I get offended when people insult my intelligence. Oh, like, how, how do you do that? I don't know, like um, trying to make me believe something that I know isn't true. <laughs> oh, that, that like is, when you have facts and yeah. people trying to make you believe that you're wrong, even though you know, yeah. you know that what you're saying is facts. I get offended by that. Like, do you? Take me as a dummy. <laughs> so basically you get offended when men be lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anyone. They could be my own kids. Okay. And and it just really offends me. Like, wow, you really thought I was going to fall for that. Like, you know, I'm smarter than that. Exactly. You can't come up with something better like, than that. Like, who do you think you're talking to? <clears throat> right. Mm. Damn, I, w- I want to I wanna match that. Yeah, I guess I guess you do. I can see why you get offended when somebody insults your intelligence. It's like, yo, come on, bro, it's me. Right. Yeah. What what offends you? What do you think is something you get offended by? I don't know. I know I, I know people watching probably like, man, that sensitive motherfucker is offended <laughs> by everything. <laughs> but um, I, I can't I can't really recall anything right now. I can't really call. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> when. I don't like when a cream doesn't rise to the top. <laughs> I'm offended. I, I get offended. Like, you know what I mean? Why? Why I wasn't picked? You know, especially when I deserve shit and you don't give it to me, I get offended. You know, that offends me. And then, um, so that, it it offends you to not get what you deserve. Yeah, I got entitlement issues. All that stuff I be talking about. <laughs> yeah, but I I guess. But that's why I don't like when I have anybody else in control. You know, that's why I'm a control freak. So I don't have to never worry about that. So that's why we tell you, I'll be getting offended, yo. True. <laughs> that's why I don't get offended. But who's to say this? Like, what? Like, who validates these things? Like, who, who validates that it's okay for you to be offended by not getting what you deserve or me getting offended? Mm-hmm by lies social media they validate it yeah because there's there's so many other people that feel the same way like you could find somebody that feel the same way it's crazy it's crazy you could type anything on the internet and you'll find somebody that agrees with you or has something with it you know what i mean then that makes it valid that makes it valid in this day and age you know what i mean we we're considering everything so as soon as the um the alphabet started and um all the different uh facets of people you know we just accept i don't even know why the alphabet should just be the whole alphabet soon i think it's it's almost mm-hmm. there yeah yeah <clears throat> i actually hope it goes there <laughs> no i do it'll I, be easy I, for I, us yeah, to yeah, recite yeah. it right because yeah. right now like, i LBG, don't even that's funny but i guess that makes sense if enough people right are offended by the same thing right. then it's valid i was just thinking when we were just talking about the different um the lbgtq community i think i said it right um i think pretty soon we're going to be able to add a bunch of other letters in there and as we were talking about that i was thinking like yo can i come up with like a different type of like being <laughs> like i could be Sexuality. like a man bat woman <laughs> what? like 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 How? You know what I, mean? I don't know like <clears throat> Of course, have a penis, but like have like I, I don't know, like a tail. <laughs> like I, I, <laughs> okay, but would you? I mean, how would that fit into the L? 
No, Gee. it'd be it'd be something different. No, it'd be it's another a whole ladder. species. It's a whole different species. Like, what if that's what I think would happen? People are going to start creating like I said. You said species. Damn. No, because that's what that would be. Yeah. No. No. But like different, I guess, subsets of people. Like you have like, you know, you have your trans, mm -hmm. gay, bi. We get that. Right. Um, um, and then there could be other things now. Like what? This is what I want to know. Like what? Like what if you? What if you? Because you have people who identify as dogs. What are? What? Where are they on that? Where are they? Like, are they the D's? So like, okay. So you, you think that now we're gonna be adding trans species? Trans species. Oh, so would that just be under the T? No, no, no transgender. Transgender. Is transgender. Is T. Yeah. So trans yeah. species. Yeah so i mean because a transgender is basically somebody that changes their right. sex not necessarily somebody who identifies yeah like they go through the whole process yeah trans species is gonna be a new thing and that'd be that'd make um well i can't say more sense because then somebody would be offended but that'd make i can understand that a little bit because we are like human animals anyway right i mean we are part of the animal kingdom right yes, we are so would it make sense if somebody says like you know i feel like a dog and like you know i'm i'm part dog or i'm part you know if that's what them crazy <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> would have believed <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen you you nowadays want, you could identify as as anything yeah yeah you can do whatever you want mm. so um understanding why someone is being offensive that was one of the ways you could uh, stop being offended, understanding why someone is being offensive. So why would someone be offending you? And it, what we bring up, these are not this is not purposeful offenses. Right. Like these are just by like, oh, damn, that's my why bad. I said it depends on the person. Right. If they get offended, then it's a bad thing for them. I don't know. You can't control the next person's feelings. This is all emotional. Right. No, I get you. But I get embarrassed. If I ever offend somebody and they say they offended and they validate it, I'd be embarrassed. Like, damn, I didn't even mean that. I'm ignorant. And sometimes it's kind of like, I think it's kind of cool because it's like, I really genuinely made a mistake and I offended somebody. So I kind of find it cool to offend people. It sounds crazy <laughs> because I don't, I don't do anything purposefully. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not trying to. But that that's the difference yeah. between people is the intention behind it right some people are intentionally using these words i guess to offend people yeah and some people are just saying that was a cakewalk man yeah it's like oh damn bro and then the next person's like cakewalk i'm black yo. yeah <laughs> hey, i'm black yo, and then they're like what what do you mean you know so it's like i've offended people before and they came up to me not came up to me but they've told me and it's like i said it's embarrassing like oh damn i didn't mean to do that bro i didn't know you know what i mean like that ain't my style but like i said it's good at the same time because mm -hmm. those be genuine situations other than that i'll be i don't be messing with nobody man i don't bother nobody <clears throat> okay where we going with this um like we touched everything i mean we didn't get to oh the people that have been getting offended like vanessa bryan and monica lewinsky <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Monica Lewinsky says something about somebody has a song. I think it's Beyonce. Beyonce got a song with Monica Lewinsky's name in it. I think I've heard Monica Lewinsky in a few songs. And like she wants her name to be out of the songs. Now, that seems legit, right? Yes. Yeah, because she might be offended. Yeah, but <laughs> but that's legit. It's like it's not kind of like defamation of character but it, it's not. i mean i guess it depends on how they're using it right her name right like if they're saying mon like i want to look as pretty as monica lewinsky it'd be not a, it won't be a problem that's not a defense right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what they say i don't know what they say but i i know, could imagine yeah. some things right everybody pretty much knows what she's known for so right so that's probably what they're alluding to when she's talking and she says like you know she wants she wants her names out of the song so what do you think about that you think she's, she's i she's think valid? she has the right to to feel that way and say those things Shit, she gonna make money off what she did do that like you know what i mean right. you want to have my name in the song pay me right yeah yeah definitely yeah it made me think like damn it's all right i wonder like are people like in her family like bringing up like 
Are you Monica Lewinsky? <laughs> Are you Auntie Monica Lewinsky? <laughs> Are you the the Monica Lewinsky? <laughs> the Monica Lewinsky, like you, my fail. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's probably what's going on with that. Damn. <clears throat> and it's probably like she's getting older, and she doesn't want to like hear about that shit anymore. Right. Yeah. This true, was true. my past. It was probably she looks at it as a mistake that she regrets now right it's like okay when are you guys gonna drop it like damn i think she bought it back up to be honest with you because <laughs> i'm probably not probably did yeah yeah because i'm like damn i don't even that was old news yeah yeah but i've heard it being used like she she does remain up there like lil wayne i know lil wayne he uses that I'm gonna go Nicki Google her Minaj. when I go home. This is this remember what she looked like when she was younger. <laughs> I'm like, well, what is my what was this all Monica Lewinsky? Let me go check her out. You know, wow. <clears throat> but yeah, so her name dragged around. Um, you had what that um the lyric with Drake. She wasn't with me shooting in the gym. <laughs> you know? And what what is that? What does that mean? Because I thought what that meant was when somebody wasn't there working with you and making things happen. Yeah, I think at that time Drake said that lyric. I think Kobe and Vanessa Bryant were going through something. And I don't, I don't know what exactly was the um, the actual um, facts and findings. But during that time, that's when that song came out. And I guess it was some legal stuff. And then Drake said, you know. Bitch, you wasn't with me shooting in the, in the gym. gym. Yeah. Like like Kobe, he said first he said Kobe, my man. I wish it never been him. Then he said the line, "She wasn't with me shooting in the gym." Now what if she decided like, "Yo, oh, I don't like that lyric. Take it out." She can't say that it refers to her though. How can you prove that? God, that's a tough one. Yo, that's messed up. Do you think it was <laughs> referring to her? That's crazy. Absolutely. Because <laughs> like I said, they were going through something at that time. That's crazy. I'm just saying, this, this for like being offended and stuff. There's a lot of people that could come out and be like, yo, I'm offended. Take my name out of there. That's going to be a tough one, though, because um, her name's not in there. Her husband. I mean, she could try it. That's that, a tough I think one, that's right? going to be a oh. tough one, though. Uh because i mean think about like the rap songs nowadays and from back in the days too like i think they're always mentioning athletes actors actresses they're always it's used. all fair game they're all fair game right Ugh. so all of this stuff going on um cancel culture the words people being offended this all stems around like mental health issues, right? So with, there's so many things that can offend you. Like we just came up with eight new words now. Um, talk about the Monica Lewinsky stuff. Um, understanding your feelings, what it's like being offended. So how do you know if you have mental health issues? <laughs> because here's the thing, I, I hear everybody talk about mental health issues and now I, I kind of see why. Because maybe everybody has a mental health issue and it's always been there. Because I look at some of these things, I, when I Google it, it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's about 20 things, things they ask you. Now, what are the chances that you say no to all 20 of those things? So if you say no to all of those things. No, I'm just saying, I was saying, I can find a way to say yes to all of them. So me, it's like, you can, I can't Google this and be like, yo, do I got mental, if I Google, do I have mental health issues? All the list of stuff come up and I'm like, do I get anxiety? Yes. Stress? Yes. Am I irritable? Yes. Do I have low mood sometimes? Do I yes. find it difficult to concentrate and remember things? Do yeah. I sleep less or too much? Well, not too mm -hmm. much, but less. Maybe. Changes in your mood? It's changes Definitely. in the weather. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, I mean, mad, but it's cold. So we yeah. all have mental health issues, basically. <clears throat> if you put it that way. Becoming suspicious or paranoid? Absolutely. I'm just thinking this one right here. Becoming suspicious or paranoid? Becoming isolated or withdrawn? Like usually people who are getting smarter and smarter become that way. That's true. They start isolating themselves because they just into their craft and into what they're doing. So you do I have a mental health aware. issue? Do I have a mental health issue though? <laughs> Somebody be watching like, nigga, you do. Could you be 
extremely mentally healthy is that a thing <laughs> wow like first you got a mental health issue then you have a mental health could that be an issue like, though too healthy could that be an issue when Hell your yeah. mind is too healthy right absolutely because who, who else is there with you that's a lonely feeling exactly yeah yeah you're gonna constantly be offended now here we go here's one here's one that if this should be these should all be trick questions right where it's like because they, they have to be because you're serious enough and you think dig deep you could be like i have been losing sleep but i've been working hard so i gotta answer like a, a yes no like right somewhat to those questions somewhat somewhat but this is the question right here to me that's the bigger that's the killer and should be like the trick one if you answer yes to this it's like ah you got mental health issues having suicidal thoughts <laughs> now that to me is a no like I, I don't, yeah, 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 I don't I think don't about stuff that. like that. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> now hold on. Having death thoughts is different, but not suicidal thoughts. Hear me out. I'm always thinking, like you know, because I'm always want to make sure I take care of my family. So I'm always thinking about driving and getting into the worst accident ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's not suicidal. Like I'm not trying to kill myself, but. If I happen to get into one of them crazy pileups out of nowhere, it's like, that's damn. That's paranoia. That falls under the so, other one. Oh, so that's paranoia. All right, yeah. so cool, cool, cool. So, <laughs> so the big one. <laughs> so I think this one should have like a, on a on a, on a scale of one to 10. But there's levels. Yeah, that should be levels. There's like, levels to if mental If you even health. dare answer that one, it's like, we got to talk. Like, all right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go take you to see the lady. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they got some other funny ones on there. Like, believing your family and friends want to do you harm <laughs> hey listen but it's so crazy because you could be thinking this because you have a mental health issue but you could also be thinking this because your family and friends may want to <laughs> do you harm like how do you know <laughs> yo, yo that's what i'm saying like somebody's just like yo like, what did you mean? Like, you gotta, right. you gotta be sitting there like, yo, what do you mean by that question? Break that down. Yeah, break, break that, that down. One down. Okay. Believing that people or organizations are out to get you. Like, being a black man, like, like I see every black man believes that. Like, you know what I mean? Danny out to get us. They all, you always hear they the out to get us. The whole government is out to get you. And I always ask people, like, who are they? Like, where the fuck <laughs> they at? Like, I, I don't see these things. Like, where they at, bro? Help me. They're out to get us, man. <laughs> Woo. So that's what I'm saying. Excessive but spending. But could it be true? You never know. Right. That's the thing. Hear about this one. Excessive spending. See, yeah, excessive spending. I guess, you know. That's a way to cope. That's like a negative way to cope with um, yeah. stress, I guess. Yeah, you spend too much. Having flashbacks or nightmares. Like, I can get that. I, I, I get that. Like, you know, meaning like, but still, that can be like a normal thing. You can have flashbacks and nightmares and not necessarily have a mental health issue. Right, you know? I'm starting to think I have a. I told you. I, I told you. I told. <laughs> when I read this list, I'm like. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not> <laughs> Clearly. How about seeing and hearing things that others don't see? Ain't that a mark of like a genius? Announce a mental. But geniuses, some geniuses have mental health issues. That's like, why I said, could you be extremely mentally healthy? Like, I'm like the sun, like, <laughs> I think like, yeah. And could that be an issue? Mm. I think so. That because, means you're hyper conscientious and know what's going yeah, on. Like, and it, it, it becomes too much. Yeah. I I'm I, scared of, of <laughs> I, I think I got mental health issues. <laughs> I'm sitting here laughing. It's like, wow. Oof. No, and people, I think, don't take this stuff seriously enough. I think that it's being thrown out there and people just like, but come on, we we come from a long line of people being traumatized and all the shit that, that gets passed down. It really does. Traumatized and cakewalks and master bedrooms. Nitty gritty. Nitty gritty. It's like, like all imagine these being in the nitty gritty. Yeah. That's traumatizing. Yeah yeah and then having somebody to always constantly remind you that 400 500 600 years ago your people was in the nitty-gritty you know what i mean that could be yeah that could have you seeing things and hearing things that don't exist exactly having flashbacks you know what and I mean? that could have you thinking that people want to do harm having, having people think holy shit did we just come up with something are these white people putting this in our heads so we can't have mental health issues that 
yeah, sounds yo. very legit. Right, urban. We should have a problem and with urban. this is urban. why I said that white people made that list. Oh. Because I think that they're out to get us. Nah. <laughs> so, mental health issue. You got a mental health issue. They're oh, not, problem. yeah, they're not trying to get us. So we just want full circle about cancel culture, mental health issue and everything. All, like I said, full circle, full right. circle. So yeah, if you if you're constantly worried about cakewalks and people saying that and illegal immigrant and urban and manhole and all that stuff, then you are believing that people and organizations are out to get you. You are seeing and hearing things that others don't see. And wow. And those things probably <clears throat> um are making you lose sleep. And become isolated and withdrawn. Now you're anxious. Now and you're, you're stressed. Anxious. Yep, stress, mental health. Now you're having a low mood. Right sleeping less or too much next thing you know once you're experiencing all these things you might become suicidal who wants to deal with all of that shit wow that's tough you there has to be a way that you can become mentally healthy like and get rid of some of those things on that list <clears throat> how do you wow what that's that'll be that'll be something for the next episode like how to how to how cope to with those and battle yeah. mental health issues. Because I, it seems like, based on this, it seems like we all have some right. bit of mental health issues. You know? I mean, I don't have no mental health issue. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I, I look at all of these and I'm like, I, I, have, a, I have another issue. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe a narcissistic issue and st- things. Is that a mental health issue? No. Yes. No, because I believe I believe I'm above all of this. <laughs> so, that's that's a mental health right. issue. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but it's not on this list. It's not on this list. But yeah, so I got my own health. Oh, I got my. I have my own mental health issues. Yeah. I mean, but the thing with those things is, we might check off on a lot of those things on that list, but at the same time, we have healthy ways of coping with those things opposed to people where they might want to do something extreme exactly no or I get like you. they let those things overpower them and now they're cutting themselves and they're doing weird shit yeah having suicidal real suicidal or like thoughts. being extremely offended by everything me right. personally <clears throat> like i said when you insult my intelligence yeah that offends me but cakewalk will never offend me right right now you're strong you're strong are you strong you just i guess yeah you're strong but are you strong or should you just be you be able to be able to wipe that stuff away like that's yeah not, i that, think that doesn't so take much strength right it doesn't <clears throat> but what do you think about people like when they find out that they're supposed to be offended by this stuff you see those people you start like I, I tease a little bit because I'm just playing. We have a normal conversation. I'll tease and I say, "Oh, I'm about to spaz out." They be like, "Yo, come on, bro!" Like, it's like, "Come on, bro! I'm playing with you, man!" Like, right. You you just now got mad because you found that out yesterday. Right. And you have those people right. that now want to be <laughs> yeah, like, bro. Yeah. You just learned about this. You weren't getting offended all this time. Now you want. It's like people want to get offended. Yeah. Yeah. What's up with that? I don't call those people sheep. But they they remind me of sheep, like you, you understand? Like it's just like this is the new set of rules, man. Right. That's the way we go. Right. Like, that, that's what it feels like sometimes. It's like they say group think, I call it sheep think. <laughs> <laughs> like okay, that's a sheep mindset. It's all good. You know what I mean? And they really be getting offended. Like I said, I know I've offended people before, and I don't like the feeling because they make me feel embarrassing. Like man, bro, I'm just, I'm just like, I just like ain't mean nothing by it. Right. I don't want your whole mood to be messed up. That's what people who intent to offend you want they want mm-hmm. your mood to be messed up they want you to feel a certain type of way if i didn't want none of those things now i feel fucking stupid like damn i ain't want that but if you want to stay offended that's on you <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean but how do you, how do you become stronger because i think that maybe going through some of these things exposure exactly i think becoming stronger i just take it to the gym how do you become stronger in the gym expose yourself to things that are much heavier than you or much like you know what i mean that are heavy right constant exposure to that makes you stronger and then now when you go in the gym six months eight months from now you lift something that you couldn't lift before it means nothing to you now it's lighter right yeah so yeah so 
if you're offended by something, constantly be exposed to it. Like so if you don't you know. like the, if you don't like the N word, have people constantly call you. And- <laughs> like yo, call me the N word. Yo, I need you to call me the N word. I'm doing some shock therapy. <laughs> I need you every time you see me. Just straight up call me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. does that work for some people? Do you have to be aware for it to work, or are you just gonna keep being offended? Mm. Or are you? really not offended but you're saying that you are yo they say that's another thing people that that constantly want to be offended it's a control thing that they have and it's an anxiety issue that they have they suffer from like anxiety big time and they, so they always want to be offended by stuff because they want to be anxious they want they're addicted to that feeling of like oh, somebody I believe else is it. after me like you I know what i mean it. so it's like so if you constantly find yourself offended um Comment below and let us know how you're offended about this episode. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that um, you got a lot to say and we would be respectful. We make sure we won't use none of these words. Mankind, master bedroom, cakewalk, nitty gritty, illegal immigrant, urban, manhole, and spaz. Wow, you just said all of them. But I said it in the context of <laughs> the words that I will not say. <laughs> okay. I will not say, let's go fix that manhole. <laughs> no. It's a maintenance hole It's now. the maintenance hole. Kelly, go fix the maintenance hole. <laughs> so is there Urban Dictionary anymore? Come on, don't take away the Urban Dictionary. Yeah, you can't. Because that's the saying, it's a poor African-American dictionary. And we need that dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> we need that dictionary, yo. <laughs> you can't take away from the Urban Dictionary, yo. Yeah, how are you going to look up urban words that only urban people in the urban neighborhoods would know damn man come on man don't take that away what you think man comment below let us know what you believe what you think how you feeling subscribe if you like this type of content and uh i'll see you on the next one ronald west Isela gomez we out <laughs>